Welcome to the final video of our playlist where we write unit tests using JUnit for our Spring Root REST API application. Now, in the previous videos, uh, we have learned about how to write unit tests for our pre-written uh, API methods, uh, get all book records, get book ID, create book record, update book record, and so on and so forth. But we had left out writing the delete endpoint using the TDD method which is the test driven development method. So in this video, uh, we will be writing or implementing our delete endpoint using uh, unit tests, which we write first, and then we implement our delete endpoint. So uh, this is going to be a very basic uh, TDD uh, implementation, uh, which will give you an idea of how it works. And then uh, your homework would be to add in the not found exception uh, edge cases to the uh, method using test driven development. So without further ado, let's actually start implementing it. So first to implement this, we need to have a test. So a test, which is going to be public void delete book by ID. And this is going to be a success test. So this is going to work to get our basic a delete uh, up and running and working. So it will just delete our uh, book and that's it. So we are going to be deleting by ID. So the first thing uh, that we need to do is we need to uh, use the book repository to call find by ID, right? We need to get the book first and then we delete it. So uh, let's do that first. Let's actually mock our book repository uh, find by ID method so that we know that uh, whenever we call find by ID in our actual implementation, it will be mocked. So we do mockito dot um, when and here book repository dot find by id and uh, let's do record two because we haven't done that in a long time and then return uh, optional of record two. So when uh, we query the query for the second book, we get it back. And once we get it back, all our delete endpoint is going to do is delete it, right? Uh, we are not going to return back uh, what we deleted. But what we can do is just send a 200 uh, status that yeah, what we uh, the delete worked. So that is what we'll be testing with our simple success uh, test case where once we delete the book from the database, we get a simple status code as status is okay. So that is what our test is going to look like. So we do mock MVC dot perform. And here uh, we can do a simple mock request builders. And under this, we can do um, dot delete uh, content type also. So let's quickly do that dot delete and will be slash book slash two because it's the second record that we're deleting. The second thing uh, that we will be doing is the content type. So let me quickly go and do content type. And this is going to be media type application JSON. And uh, as you can notice here, uh, when we write this, we already know that uh, the way we implement our bo delete book method or endpoint is by having a path variable, right? As we have for uh, get book by ID. So similar path variable and no request body will be there in our application. So this is something which we understand as we write our uh, test cases. So now that we have our uh, perform and request builder ready, we just have to expect one thing, which is that the status is okay. And that is all that we need for a simple delete book by ID success uh, test case unit test. So now that now in this test driven development uh, approach, we have written our test and uh, in theory, this test should function well in order for our delete API to function well. So let's run this and obviously it will fail because there is no such API here. And that is exactly what we want. We should always predict the behavior of our code with the test that is test driven. So here we will know that the test will fail and for the exact reasons why we want it to. So we wait for it and as you can see, we wanted the status code as 200, but we got a 405, uh, which is not what we wanted. 
So now we know what to do. Now what we do is we head to the book controller and here we start implementing our code. So let's start. Uh, this is going to be a delete mapping and the mapping will have a value which is going to be the book ID. And this is going to be in strings. So let me quickly make them in strings. And public void delete book by ID. And this will have a path variable because that is how we are approaching our uh, method. And this will have a variable book ID as specified above. And this is going to be a long book ID. This throws a not found exception. So we will deal with the not found exception later, but uh, for now, let's uh, just implement our uh, method. So now uh, we check the book repository first. Uh, we do a find by ID uh, book ID dot is present. And if it is not present, when we throw new not found exception uh, book id book id not present a simple uh, friendly message that the book is not present and the next thing that we need to do is just delete the book from book repository the book repository dot delete and delete by ID is what we are going for and we give it the book ID and we are good to go. So now we understand that it just took me uh, two minutes to implement my method because I already knew uh, what I was looking for and what I was uh, looking for in terms of the idea of how to implement it because I already had my test ready. I already have my test ready and I have written some code. Uh, if uh, I would not be using unit tests, the way I would test this code would be to run my entire application and then uh, create a book, then I delete the book, I check the database whether it's deleted or not, or I can just run this test again and this will automatically tell me whether my method which I just implemented is correct or not. And that is the main reason why we want to write unit tests and follow test driven development because we don't, it makes it very, very, very easy to understand how our code is functioning and behaving. And as you can see, we have uh, passed our test that automatically tells me that the code which we have written for our delete endpoint is working. And then we can remove this to do and we are good to go. So this is how easy it gets with test driven development because we now exactly know how our code is behaving and how it should behave because we have written a test for how it should behave. We know that it should behave in a specific way where if it's going for record two, it should delete record two. And the same thing would be for record one. So if I do this as one, uh, I change this as one and also this as one, it will delete record one. And we can test that again. And you can see how easy it is to actually update your test and change them and understand how your code is functioning as you do it. Now, Another way uh, to do this or to see what's happening behind the scenes is to, you know, run this in debug mode with a breakpoint. So once, you know, the test is running, we'll see how that is working. So now I want to know what is happening behind the scenes, right? So I can just put a breakpoint. I can run it in debug mode. And when it comes here, uh, we will uh, break the code and we will see what's happening behind the scenes. So the test is running and once we reach uh, line 138 the execution will stop and yeah as you can see now we can see the data behind our application so mock mvc is what we're using and when you see inside mock mvc we see the servlet context we see what we have uh, we see the dispatcher which we are using the default dispatcher and what is inside it the value or what kind of logs it does uh, all of that so you can see the servlet uh, as it's using uh, the different kind of mappers. We also uh, can see what we have here. So we have records, book ID, etc, etc. Then when we continue running it, uh, we see that the tests have passed. So this is how we implement uh, a delete API uh, using test driven development where we first write the tests 
and then uh, we implement the logic behind the test. Now, uh, a couple of things that uh, would be the homework would be these. So, the first thing which I would like to do is I want you guys to add this in the comments where you do get book by ID and we do not found. So, how would you implement this? This test is what we would like to know. The next test would be something like not found for a delete. So public void delete book by ID not found. And what happens when you give it a, a record as 70 as a book ID and we try to delete 70 but delete but 70 a book ID does not exist in the database. So what, how do you handle that test case? Will the code break or not? So we handle that and we want to know exactly how the code is working. So that is basically what we do with our, uh, you know, uh, negative tests. So this is a positive test where we know what is going to happen and going to be successful. So these are negative tests which tell us uh, what to, when we have control over what happens when the code breaks. So this is, this was the playlist about how we can write uh, unit tests for our Spring Boot REST API application. I hope this was helpful. If you have any doubts, please mention them in the comments below. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next playlist.